What is going on everybody? Today we're testing the brand new bull mullet by Ketchco and Mike Buka. Let's get it. All right guys, before we actually get out there and start fishing this lure, I did want to talk about some of the fine details and how this video is going to be sponsored by shopcarls.com. If you guys are not already aware of shopcarls.com, it's the number one place to get all your tackle for the best deals and free shipping for all members. On top of that, you can get awesome lures like this ahead of everybody else, but not just this lure, tons of other great lures, tons of other great brands like Guggen, uh, 10,000 Fish, Z-Man, tons of great products. I'm leaving links below so you can get on over there, take a look at it for yourself, use my discount code RyanR10 and save yourself $10 off your first purchase but now that you guys know about that let's talk about this lure once again this is the Mike Buka bull mullet it's that same concept of the previous baits that they've had that multi segment piece it's got that little brush tail except it is a saltwater concept it's got a big bold eye that's gonna help you attract those predators in the salt water on top of that they kind of have that reinforced tin coated uh, saltwater hooks I did also notice they have a 360 swivel on these hooks now to me hands down this thing looks money aesthetically it is pleasing the looks are very realistic to the bait fish this is going to be a dirty mullet i believe they have a thread fin pattern and a ton of other different colors that are going to be available once again at shopcarls.com june 16th now this thing is going to be coming in at five and a half inches one and a half ounces so it is a little bit bigger and a little bit more stout of a bait so you might need to require you know putting it on a 150 or a 200 size reel and maybe throwing a little bit beefier line like some 15 to 20 pound line but we'll talk more about our setup and how we're going to be fishing this bait when we get out there on the water now that you guys know the name of the game though Let's get out there and get after it. All right. Let's get it, Peppers. Let's see what we can find out here. This water is very, very cloudy, very, very muddy. We've had some pretty bad rains lately. I actually see a, uh, a little popping cork out here. I'm going to try to grab just to get it out of the water. I guess that thing's not on a line. It's just sitting right out there. Swims very similar to the, uh, the bull shad, I'll say. It's got that elongated body. Yeah, I can't get that if I had to. Um, it's kind of like just an S wave movement. Really, really smooth, really, really nice. Especially for that long, long body. Definitely saltwater fish will blow up on this thing. Freshwater at a pond like this, I'm gonna have to fish it a little bit faster than I probably want to, just because this pond's very, very shallow. A lot of grass as well. Really, really nice paint job on these baits. We're throwing a thread fin pattern they have multiple patterns. Another one that I have is a dirty mullet, um, which I mean, honestly, looks really, really good and would probably do really, really good in stained, muddy water like this. Um, so I might pull that out later on, but I had to go with that kind of natural white looking pattern that might match some of the natural fish here. I'm gonna go with like a slow and fast movement. Look at that. It's kind of like an S wave, just real, real subtle movement elongated body i like i like that you don't want too much movement in your baits especially this time of the year you want it to look natural not too fatigued these fish are starting to move up and munch a lot it's that summertime just starting so the heat hasn't kicked in and these fish are trying to take advantage of those cold water temperatures and that warm sun heating their body up and getting them ready to move if you guys are not already aware bass are cold-blooded animals so their body temperature is dependent on the atmosphere and environment that they are in. Try to find some of these shade patches where these fish might be hugging in, ready to ambush. And then we'll just keep on working it out in the deep as well. Oh, what is that? Okay, that's a stick. That's a, that's a stick. Let's see if I can... Okay, I can see my lure in the water. I might have to go get it. Well, hooks are good. <sighs> I guess we're getting in the water already. Peppers, you stay here. I knew this was gonna happen today. That's why I honestly wore my freaking sandals. I was like, there's a good chance I'll lose this lure just due to the fact that, uh, hey, stay. Oh my God, that just sinks down right away. Holy cow. Try to stay over here with the uh, the rooted. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna freaking fall in the water. See if I can do the old rod trick. Let's see, this might be a lost cause at this point, man. What am I doing over here? A 
Well, now I gotta get to my rod at least. <laughs> okay, all sorts of wrong right now. Oh my God, I just sunk down to the bottom. Um, let me get my car keys and my phone out of here. And we got it, and we got it, and we got it. Um, I'm gonna have to use my rod to help me get out of here. My foot just sunk all the way down to the bottom. Oh my goodness. I'm not losing you sandals. It's my favorite sandals around. Uh. Well, talk about an eventful first five minutes. Jeez, Louise. Uh. She just peed on my keys. It's like just insult to injury right now. Just, I, I don't even know what to say guys. I'm gonna have to figure this whole monstrosity. I got a lure stuck in my arm. My rod is now covered in mud and nastiness. I'm wet up to the butt. I got my lure back though. So uh, first five minutes, what the hell just happened? I'm gonna have to kind of rethink this and get ready to fish this thing for real, for real. and Avoid these damn trees looks like. All right guys, we're gonna give it a full sin now. This is a spot I've fished before. I've just never fished this location and I thought it'd be great to try to bring this big old bait over here. Fish it along these walls for the first time. See if we can find anything working through this channel. And if not, we will get out there and fish the open. That's a fish. That's a fish. Keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, keep it down, Ryan. As soon as it hit the water. Let's go, guys. I knew this canal was gonna pay off. Swap spots, swap techniques. Look at that. First fish of the day. Let's freaking go. Got him good too, man. I was a little worried as he hit it as soon as, ooh, my goodness, almost got a hook in the hand. As soon as he hit the water, it took it. Jeez, Louise. There we go, guys, our first fish on the Buka Bull Mullet. As soon as that thing hit the water, hit it with the twitch, and I, I just felt the tension and that, that tightness. And as you can see, he is locked on there, man, completely locked on that bait, not getting off of it. And to be honest, it looks post-spawn, so definitely trying to feed up and uh, get that girth back, so. He's pretty stressed out. Let's get him back in the water, man. Awesome, awesome action on this bull mullet, man. There we go. First fish of the day. It took a while, but we got him. And revived. Good flow of water right here. There she goes. Holy crap. Look at the size of that freaking shot on the floor next to me, guys. I think we're doing pretty good about matching the hatch, I'd have to say. Whew, getting tired out here, guys. There's a few nice grass patches. I'm gonna try to fish them real simple and easy. If I can't get anything out of there, I really don't know what else to do. I'm just gonna wrap it up for the day because it is getting exhausting out here. This humidity is insane. The walking has been getting to me. Oh! He can't top water hit it. He can't top water hit it. I'm gonna keep it low. Keep it low. He's gonna freaking shake it. He's gonna shake it. He's gonna shake it. Those hooks just help me secure this fish if it's gonna stay on. Oh yes. Oh another good one, guys. I did not give up. There we go. Another pretty decent bass. I'm telling you, the only size fish you're gonna catch with this thing, as far as bass, are gonna be two pounders and up, man. That is our second fish of the day. Same exact way, as soon as it hits the water, they don't even think twice, so I'm gonna fish this thing a lot faster and a lot more thoroughly if that seems to be the, the, the method. It's happened twice, exact same way, exact same location. We know what to do now. We're gonna adapt, adjust, fish thoroughly, fish fast. Either way, guys, second fish of the day. Let's freaking go munch that thing. Look at that. Came across the entire body. Was not gonna let that thing go by. 
just like the last fish double pinned that's what you want man i was a little nervous he was going to get out but to be honest with these sharp hooks man and i mean like i am not joking these are some of the sharpest hooks i've ever used on a bait i am not having to worry about much i'm gonna have to grab the pliers again i'm just they're so sharp i don't trust it if he shakes like that's it it's going past the barb instantly anything with this like wire type hook usually does that but it's key to have these types of hooks when you're fishing saltwater because you get a lot more of those aggressive fish with teeth and a lot larger uh, mouse and smaller mouse and all sorts of things where you just have to secure the hook a little bit better bass fishing you don't need those intense hooks as much but we secured our second bass of the day let's get him revived there he goes his bait's working now change locations change techniques change approaches we just had to adjust and adapt. We found a way to drive those bass in to the saltwater lure. It's literally getting in those little pockets where they can ambush it right away. Right now I get a fish when I was just now talking about wrapping it up. It's like, well, starting all fresh over again. Just want to keep grinding now. <laughs> the crazy thing about fishing is you can be out here for hours and catch absolutely nothing. And then all of a sudden you catch one and it's like, it's all, it's all starting over again. And like I was saying, we're finding good sized fish with this bait. That's another thing that I like about it so far. I do enjoy fishing swim baits, not everybody does, because as y'all can see, we're not getting a ton of bites, but the quality, as y'all have seen, has been spot on. I mean, we're catching fish that you can easily put on a board for a tournament, help you win that bag, and sometimes you just need a little bit bigger bait to do it. This wind's getting gnarly now, man. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Not huge, but that's what we want, man. Spit it out last second. Nice little patch of open grass right here. Woo! Third fish, guess the size, guys. Same freaking size. That one's got a butterball belly, man. That one is really thinking he was getting himself a nice little meal. That's how they've all been, just coming at it, smack it last second, right through these little vegetation lines, grass lines. As you can see, we got to this windy corner, man. Started turning up, just kept fishing right here in this open. Nice little clearing. Next thing you know, third fish of the day. Awesome one, man. Kind of just working through the open. I'm gonna get it back out there, see if we get a few more in this corner. Nice wind punched corner or the wind slack corner, like I've been talking about. That's what we want. This guy's ready to go. Yeah, he was full energy, didn't even have to hesitate. I kind of set the hook on that, I didn't need to. These, these are baits where you just gotta let the fish set their own hook. Got lucky that I didn't rip it out of his mouth on that one. These hooks are definitely making it real easy for me. I don't think I've lost one fish yet. And once again, I was getting ready to get out of here, getting ready to leave. And of course, get ourselves an, oh, again, again. Right here in front of me. Let him fight a little bit. Let him fight a little bit so he don't lose it. Yeah, he's, he's gonna get unhooked. He's gonna get unhooked. I can see it already. He's foul hooked at this point. Just gotta let him tire himself out. Let him tire himself out. Don't let him shake, don't shake, don't shake, don't shake. Whatever you do, buddy. I can't boat flip him. You gotta be super careful getting him on the bank. But I found a little grass patch right here where they might be stacked up. Try to get this guy on the bank, man. He is not gonna be an easy one. I'm gonna reel down my slack. Grab my rod. Grab this guy like that. Oh man, man, oh man. Biggest one of the day so far for sure. He smoked that thing, took off running, shook it, and then ended up getting himself hooked on the base of his body. Like I said, guys, this thing, I'm not even catching the fish. The hooks are freaking catching it for me. Beautiful, beautiful fish on this one too. As you can see, got a ton of black marking. He's got the black eyes. Guy looks like a freaking boxer out here. Solid, solid bass, man. Another spot right here on the tail. 
I am digging these baits right now. Let's freaking go. Man, I am stoked right now. We are getting them going. I was a little nervous about this guy. Old school Ryan would have just tried to flip this thing up and I probably would have lost it. New school Ryan trying to be a little bit easier, a little bit nicer with these fish. Definitely let my rod, my drag, and my line do all the fighting for me and uh, just secure them on the bank when they're ready to go. But beautiful, beautiful fish, man. I can't get enough of this one. Really, really solid belly on this one. Beautiful spots. I love me a pretty fish like this. Well guys, with that last final catch, I think we're gonna call for today. The wind's picking up, weather's kind of shifted, we've changed locations, we've changed techniques, we found the method for the madness, fishing this vegetation, fishing it very thoroughly, and just kind of waiting for these bass to come to us. The, the hooks on these baits, man, in freaking insane. Best hooks I've probably ever fished in my entire life. But regardless of just the hooks, these baits catch fish, man. They drive those bites in. You can get a little finesse with them. You can get, you know, slow rolling with them. You can move them fast. So I really, really do enjoy that you can fish them in multiple styles. So I know if you can catch a bass on one of these things, you can definitely catch a trout, a snook, a drum, or any sort of those saltwater species out there that are a lot more aggressive and a lot more enticed to bite bait like that. But with that being said, guys, the wind's getting crazy out here. I'm not even sure if you can hear me. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about these lures and what they can do for you. Once again, available at shopcarls.com June 16th. Use that link below and my code RyanR10. Get on over there. But that is gonna be it for today, guys. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Peace.